All right, today we're going to talk about making a movie in ZBrush. So this is how you're going to turn your character in. Um, so when you met all of the criteria for your character, you need to make sure in your subtool palette that all the subtools are visible. This little eye, we can actually hide our subtools, so we just want to make sure everything we made can be seen in our movie. So we're going to create a turntable. And ZBrush is going to kind of automatically just kind of rotate around like this. I'm just going to spit out a movie. So to get this set up, you need to go to the top of your screen to Movie. And we are going to press Document and then Large. Next step, go to Modifiers. And the recording at 24 frames a second, which should be default, and we want the playback to be 24 frames per second as well. After that, I'm going to turn the cursor size to zero so it can't be seen. You can close that palette and then go to overlay image and turn the opacity to zero. Um, if we don't do that, there's going to be a ZBrush logo and we don't want that. So same thing for title image. We'll go to fade in zero, fade out zero. And then we're ready to rock. So you need to position uh, your character. So I'll hit frame and then maybe zoom out just a little bit. Turn on perspective if you would like it on. Um, and yeah, we will go to movie, turntable. Press that. It's going to do its thing. And then we'll take a look at the results. Shouldn't take too terribly long. And then we're ready. So we can go to movie and then play our movie. So it'll play here in ZBrush. And this is what you'll submit. Or, uh, I guess not or. After that, we want to press export. Put it somewhere where you know you can find it. I'll call this Octo Movie 1. Put that in my delete folder. Hit save. Now it's going to spit out that movie file. And we'll go take a look, make sure it worked. So that was on my desktop in my delete folder. Octo movie one. And that's how you do a quick turntable in ZBrush.